Action. Are right, we rolling? Alright. Alright, so guys, today what we're gonna do. Is cut! Action. You going? Ah, oh, man. I got. Okay, we're, we're, all, we're on action, okay? You rolling? You good? Alright, cool. Alright, um, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do today, um, we're gonna build a computer, okay? Now, the first thing we need to do, we need to have all of our materials. First thing, of course, is our motherboard. Okay, this is where everything plugs into. All right, CPU. And I have a, a i5 unlocked, which is pretty cool. Uh, you gotta keep that CPU cool. So here's a cooler with the cool lights, like the lights, along with this RAM that also lights up. It's really cool. And also, we need a power supply to power all of these things. So here's my big power supply. It's nice, okay. Of course, we need to take all these components and put them inside a big case. This is a uh, Rosewell Nautilus. And also, last thing, you need an operating system. So right now I have Windows installed in this, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two extra things in here. A shout out to a friend of mine, Al. He got me this uh, graphics card. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in. And also another extra is an optical drive. Uh, I'm a little old school. I kind of like CDs, you know what I mean? So this will be really easy to just put in any uh, CDs and just burn away. All right, see ya. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the CPU in. The socket all right so we're gonna take it out just gotta be careful you don't want to touch any of these pins here well not pins but whatever all right just push this out and that should come up okay and now you have to make sure you have to find this little triangle you see that triangle right there you gotta match it up with the triangle on the motherboard which i think is right here so let's see if that works Put it down. And now that should pop right out. And there we go. There's our CPU. Next is the RAM. Okay. We got some uh, Trident RGB. Now these two are gonna go right here. Uh, and notice there's two different colors. We got gray and we have black. We have to make sure we stay in the same color. Okay. And also another thing to know, there's a little notch here that you want to line up with this right here. Notice if I try to flip it. I'm not gonna be able to install it. Let's put this RAM in. That should be good. Once you hear that click. And then next, you always had a hard time with RAM. Okay. That should be good. All right, now we're gonna install the CPU fan. First, we're gonna go ahead and put the fan holder, okay, which is pretty simple. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this right on top. But first we have to apply some thermal paste. A good line down the middle should be good. Looks like a lot, but that's okay. All right, and now we're gonna have to take this off. And then position the fan right over. So let's do this. Now we press on the tabs. Okay, and there we go, now it's ready. So now we're ready to drop in the motherboard into the case. The first thing you have to do is put the IO shield on into the motherboard, not the motherboard, <laughs> the case. So, let's put this in. They don't all fit nicely, but whatever. All right, I think we're good. This thing is annoying. This is probably the hardest part of the build, is getting this thing to stay. All right, let's, oh, no, oh, not yet. Please stand by for a word from my sponsor. All right, I'm gonna go with this. Now we're gonna try to drop this in gently. Cut the feed, bro. Put one screw in. This one's gonna be 
tricky. That's gonna be tough. And I think I lost the screw. Yeah, so I think I lost one. I'm just gonna try to get it out of there. I might just put it in later. Oh, there it is. Oh man, no way. You know what? I'll do that one later. So anyway, motherboard's in. Let's start hooking this baby up. All right, next up, so, uh, power supply. This is what's gonna give me power. Now, I'm gonna line it up with the screws. All right, now that's ready. So now we're gonna install this graphics card. I'm just gonna take out the face shield over here. All right, so now let's put the graphics card in. It's going in right here in the slot. So we gotta make sure everything lines up perfectly. Okay. Line everything up and then just press down firmly. Here, click, should be good, All right? So now check this, this is pretty good. Now we could go ahead and put this back. All right, so what we did, we took the front cover off. So the optical media drive is gonna slide in a lot nicer. It's gonna go here and Should be good. This one's fucked. Okay. Oh, thanks for ruining my video. <laughs> All right, now it's time to put the hard drive in. Basically, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna slide this in here, and we're gonna make sure these connections are facing outside, so it can connect into the motherboard. So we're just gonna slide this in like this, and we have to line up these screw holes here. Let's do that. All right, now we have all of our components in. We have our motherboard, CPU, CPU fan, graphics card, power supply, optical drive, hard drive. And now all we have to do is plug everything in. I have two fans in front, and they're probably gonna be powered by one of these cables. This cable is for my USB 3.0, which I plug in up here. This is for my HD audio, and this is for my other USB. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start plugging everything in. We have to send power to the drive, the optical drive and the um, hard drive. So that's gonna be with these cables. So as you can see, it's gonna be a whole mess of cables and I'm gonna do my best to make this nice. So let's go ahead and let's start connecting everything in. Okay, so we got the USB 3.0. This is gonna be crazy. Go here. I sure you gotta be careful because you could bend these pins. So we gotta put this in nice. What else we got? We have this USB. This is another USB, it's 2.0. And this one goes here. So the fan's in, these connections are in. Now time for this guy. This big one, this is the main supply. You know what, let's go in the motherboard first. This, this guy is gonna be in my way. Okay. Now I'm gonna find a notch right here. Go ahead and just go in, line everything up. Then you kind of force it down. Oh, not really, it just goes in nicely. Okay, for a little click. Bro, where's the cable? All right, well, we put everything in together. All the cables are plugged in. It's not looking too nice, but I'll fix it up later. Now, all we have to do is plug in the power supply, plug it in our monitor and keyboard, and then we're gonna use this USB thumb drive right here uh, to install Windows 10, and hopefully we're all good. It's judgment time, dude. Time for, uh... Time. All right, so, moment of truth. 
everything's plugged in. I have power to my monitor, power to the computer. I have my keyboard connected. I have my ethernet cable. I have Windows 10 in my USB. So once I press this button, hopefully it'll turn on. If it did, if it doesn't, then I did something wrong. So wish, wish me luck. Okay, good sign, good sign. Check it out. Look at that. Looking good, looking good. Check out, check out the inside. All right, now let's take a look at the screen. So here's my, uh, here's my processor, i5, right? At 3.7 gigahertz. I have, what is it, 16 gigs of RAM? Whatever, DDR4. Okay, I have my keyboard, right? And I have one drive here. Okay, so here's my SATA, okay? This one, WDC, is the hard drive. This is the DVD drive, okay? So, new CPU installed. Please enter setup to configure your system. All right, let's do it, F1. And there's your BIOS. Awesome. All right, so let's check this out. So we're going to mess around with this for a little bit. Uh, once we're done with this, then we're going to go ahead and install Windows. Okay, so uh, we booted off my USB. So what I'm using here is easy to boot. It's a really cool tool. All right, so let's go to Windows install. We want Windows 10. We're going to go ahead and pick Windows. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna go with no key. Number one. Not here slowly enough, right here. All right. I speak English, so I'm gonna put English. U.S. Next. Okay. What are we gonna do? Windows. Yeah, let's do Windows Home. Maybe I'll get Pro later. Windows 10 Home. This is my hard drive right here. Now notice here. Has 864 gigs of free space. So this is, uh, I have this filled up, but I'm just gonna do a clean install. Okay, and right now it's just gonna completely wipe the drive. So we're gonna click okay. Back into the BIOS and change some settings. Now we're good with the hard drive. So let's have this selected. Hit next. Now it says that I have a previous version of Windows. I just wanna do a, a clean install. So you can go ahead and delete everything that's on there. And that's it. You're just going to sit there and wait for the installation to finish. Then it's going to bring you to the beginning and then that's it. So let's wait till this is finished and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right. Windows is done. Finish installation. All you have to do is create an account, sign in. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, if you ever want to build a computer, go for it, man. All you have to do is just get all the components, put it together. It's pretty cool. It took me a long time though, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.